Uh, guess what you think the estimate would be to put put How the much? the foam on the ceiling? How much? Well, what do you think it would be? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand? It's like it's gonna be like sixty-seven to like seventy-three hundred. He said that would take away like seventy percent of the sound. Seventy? Yeah. Um, oh, the big, the, like the biggest pain of it though would be like moving around the equipment so they could <laughs> use the lift. No, we should be good there. Yeah. All right. All right. Later. Later. So the salesman from the soundproofing company was just in here and was just giving me a quote and whatnot. It wasn't as expensive as I thought. He said it would be to foam like this entire ceiling. It's mostly a lot of prep work and labor. It'd be between like 6,700 and 7,300, which isn't that bad when you look at cost of equipment. I mean, an aid station can sometimes cost like 10 to $12,000. So I don't know what we'll do yet. I think we may go through with it, but another thing we do that they don't do is panel that wall. So we'd probably have to do that too. And another tip he gave me was that a lot of gyms, a lot of commercial gyms will put, use the, the flooring at least an inch thick. We, ours is like a quarter inch thick and that just shocks it up a little bit. The only thing we would need that for though is like deadlifting and stuff like that, which we have the horse mounting there as well. So that shocks it up pretty well. But I thought it was gonna be a little more expensive. Oh, and the worst part of this is that we'd have to move the, the equipment around when they'd bring the lift in, which would just be a pain. So it's a learning curve, but we'll get this thing fixed. Can we get that in here by chance? Is there any way? Yes, you yeah, can drive the truck around. Thanks, appreciate it. All right, man, we'll see you later. Yep. Thought it was endo pump, it's creatine. Endo pump's the last of these shipments coming, which we've been out of stock like the whole month. Losing a lot of money, not losing money from it, but when you release a new product and you sell on fast, I didn't think we were gonna sell that much of that because that's our best selling product. So it's all right if you're not like spot on with your inventory control when you first release a product because there's a lot of things up in the air. You don't know how well you're gonna sell it. But now we're gonna have to start ordering units of a thousand. Never run out of stock because that's a really good selling product for us. But as you guys can see, I'm starting to take the beams down so I can put them over there and we're gonna start going up because we're already running out of space for our inventory. There's a safety lock. We'll probably get additional beams and then just go up because we gotta utilize these 20, I think they're 24 or 26 foot ceiling. So even though it's a small confined space back here, we can just go up, which is going to be really helpful so we won't have to lease another place just for storage. What's the issue? It'll fit. It's in! It's in. Spent about 20 minutes on this plate tree. We got two additional plate trees because we're definitely going to need more weights for some of the equipment we're getting, but that's going to be the rest of the plate trees and then the rest of the weights, more 45s are coming tomorrow. Lunch break. You. We barely just missed that Hurts. minivan. You were already backing out. She wasn't Almost wrecked you. your car, bro. Wasn't my fault. <laughs> it's gotta, never my fault. Gotta keep an eye out there. Who's this? Is that yours? Did these come with this? Uh, no, it's the other side. Okay, so second time at Vert, the first time I came, I had no clue what I was doing. I no idea what to order when I was going through the line, but this time, same thing again, chicken, rice, went with some eggplant sauce. Not sure how that's gonna cost, but definitely- oh, cost, huh? Not sure how it's gonna taste, but I'm sure it's gonna be pretty good. Everything's so fresh here, it tastes really good, so probably gonna start coming here a lot more often, especially when we start dieting. Oh. I thought she might come after her doctor. My favorite part about IKEA, seeing the kitchens, what my future kitchen is going to look like. But got to find a bed because I've been sleeping on the couch the last five months. I'm used to the couch now. I always offer the couch. The place we're staying at now, I'm staying on the couch because I don't know why. I just get used to them and then love sleeping on couches. But I do have to find a bed, a comfy bed, so something that's kind of cheap too. Looks like it's for a child. <sighs> yeah, it's got footballs. Well, I'm not talking about the dog. Now we got to play 
Going with this guy as a bed frame, all black. And I finally have my bed. $3.99, pretty good. So I got my dresser now too, no more sharing with Nick. I got my, all my own stuff, my own room. It's pretty crazy, five months on the couch, sharing dressers. It's gonna be a lot nicer having my own stuff now. Just need a comforter, we're good to go. I got you a Drinking some wine before we go out. About to go to Hop Dotty. I always call it Hop Daddy. It's Hop Dotty, which Hop Dotty doesn't sound right, but our dad's feeling good again. He was sick for a while, and he can't eat much. He's a real picky eater, so we got to go to Hop Dotty. But Nick is. Are you challenging me to a fight tomorrow morning? Uh, yeah, I'm challenging you. He's been like trying to pick on me all day, and he thinks he'd beat beat my ass in a fight. So we might have a little wrestling match. We'll see tomorrow morning. He acts all cool when he comes over here. Eat some broccoli. Popeye, baby. Popeye with the broccoli. Forearms about to blow up. Okay, so it's Thursday morning now. Leg day with the family in our gym. I think Nick's backing out of this fight. He's not feeling it today. He'd get, he'd get his butt kicked, though. <laughs> but we're going to start out with some squats now. So going for one rep max today. This is probably the last time to do it because the cut starts soon. So... We're gonna do three reps as I go, and then the very last set, it's gonna be one one max rep, hopefully like 520-ish. Me and Nick are gonna go neck and neck with this. He's about to do 465, and then I'll do the same. New chalk bowl coming in clutch. No, no knee sleeves. I gotta borrow some knee sleeves today. Oh, oh it feels heavy. Come on, come on. Ah! Get it, drive. This feels heavy. Nick just hit 500. I'm gonna need knee, knee sleeves because I forgot mine. So I really wanna hit a big PR today. 500 right here, and we'll see how that feels. Come on. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Who's uh, coming out? This is some bullshit. I missed the first one. I went down too slow, so I'm going forward it again. Okay, so hit 500, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. It was a good lift, I came into it just all jacked up and felt so much better, it was just barely got it, but I got it, so 500. Happy with that lift. I don't know why I said 525 earlier, I knew I wasn't gonna probably get that, but that's probably gonna lead all, leave off before I cut, start this cut, so it's a good benchmark, 500, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.